कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे रॉक स्टार की गार्ड फट गई सो यूर नॉट गुना बिलीव दिस अपेरली दिस सकेज हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट जी टी ए सेवन एज वेल नो कैप आई वो प्ले यू दिस वीडियो इन दिस क्लिप वी ऑल्सो गा टॉक अबाउट जी टी एस सिक्स ट्रेलर टू जी टी एस सिक्स ऑनलाइन दिस सिक्स ऑल्सो टी एस द जी टी एस सिक्स पी सी रिलीज डेट एज वेल विच इज अपेरली गुड न्यूज एज वेल आई वन टॉक अबाउट इट बट वट दिल इज गोइन आउट विद जी टी एस सेवन वट दिल लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू जस्ट वन जी टी एस सिक्स बींग अ गुड गेम डिस लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू होप दिस गेम टर्न आउट टू बी लाइक सेम स्मोक I, I don't know, man. Like some people definitely wanna see the world burning, right? So I wanna know where you at with it. I just want a good game, man. But check this, roller. We've got a lot of promising GTA 6 news. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First okay. off, Take okay. Two CEO addressed the GTA 6 PC release. The game, which was announced in December 2023, is set to release exclusively on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Xbox. S. This Xbox announcement Xbox. left many PC gamers. It's absolutely wild that it's been six months, guys. Six months. Can you actually believe it, man? Six months. Bro. Disappointed, including me, as I've always preferred playing on PC, and it looks like GTA 6 might be the reason to change. That. During a TD okay. Cowan conference, Zelnick was asked whether the decision to exclude a PC release at launch was final, or if there was a possibility of a later announcement for the. It's 100% gonna be coming out on PC. Let's be real. The the reason they don't want to drop it like day one is because they want even the PC master race like getting the the either the PS5 version or the Xbox version, and later on when it comes out on PC, they want suckers to be buying again. <laughs> And make no mistake, they are also gonna be having the real next-gen version for the PS5 Pro as well. We're, we're hearing that PS5 Pro is gonna be coming out by the end of this year, so make no mistake, like GTA 6 is gonna be playable on the PS5 Pro. But I wouldn't be shocked if, like, a year or two years after GTA 6 release, they make like a real next-gen version for the PS5 Pro, which runs at 60 FPS. Because uh, what we're hearing is that day one, the game is gonna be running at 30 FPS, guys. It'll be what it be, man. It'll be what it be. Like the video if you want the game at 60 FPS, bruh. Dislike if you're happy with 20 FPS uh, struggling uh, uh, on PS5. platform and he Struggling replied it doesn't seem to me yeah. that either would be set in stone but rockstar has an approach to platforms which we've seen before and they will make more announcements in due time so zelnick's comments suggest that rockstar is likely continuing its tradition of console and pc releases as they have done with previous titles in the series he also hinted that the gap between the console and pc release for gta 6 might be shorter compared <laughs> to previous games saying no i way. do believe that the right strategy for our business is to be where the consumer is and historically yeah. what this company has done is address consumers anywhere they are on any okay. platform that makes sense over time for over now time, both take two yeah. and rockstar are focusing exclusively on the ps5 and xbox series for the fall 2025 launch of gta 6 i, I can realistically expect gta 6 coming out on pc like a year later bro <laughs> it'd be like that man listen if you're a pc master race it'd be like that man I, i guess you can see the ps5 players and xbox players taking notes of the lucia bruna while they're playing the game on uh, on ps5 and xbox folks man i guess it would be like that bro right? it would be like that but i know for the fact that the second this sucker hit on pc man sucker's going to be making like mods left and right we're going to be seeing like the entire pacific ocean on them streets of y city <laughs> just like how we had countless amount of mods for gta gta 5 right but i i also want to actually show you this video in a second as well guys wait for it six this decision could be seen as a strategic move to ensure that the game meets its release targets and provides a high quality experience. experience on consoles which have fixed configurations that are easier to optimize for compared to the diverse hardware found in PC yeah, facts, gaming. Facts, I think facts, it's facts, obvious facts, that Rockstar's facts. titles are known for their meticulous attention to detail and quality assurance, and by concentrating on consoles first, they aim to deliver a polished product. We all know that GTA 6 is set to be the largest and most ambitious entry in the franchise to date, and it doesn't surprise me that ensuring a smooth and successful launch on consoles is a top priority for Rockstar. Uh, doubt. I, I don't know about this one. Let listen after the gta trilogy the defective edition and i know like it was not made by rockstar games directly but in this day and age like don't video games comes out like unfinished Don't video games come out full of bugs at launch? Don't video game comes out broken? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, nah, with, with uh, jokes aside, though, with Rockstar games, Rockstar has been very good, right? Like I have to agree. Credit where it's due. Red Dead Redemption 2 was a masterpiece, and the game launched with barely any bugs. Doesn't mean that GTA 6 is gonna launch with no bugs at all. Every game has bugs, and that's not the issue. The issue is when the bugs become game breaking, and when the qualities. 
also piss poor. I don't think with GTA 6 that's gonna be the case. But of course time will tell us for sure. But uh, realistically Rockstar has a very good track record. I'm just hoping the game comes out 60 FPS. I hope they do not make Jason a same. I hope they do not nerf the Lucia Burna. I hope the game is not super woke. Though it's gonna be a little bit, let's be real, uh, because they're gonna portray the real life. But I hope the game is not super woke, man. Like the video if you hope the game is not woke. Dislike the video if you want the game to be woke, though. Star. And also the fact that the studio plans to release the game on consoles first and then on PC isn't surprising when you look at how previous installments were handled. GTA 4 was originally released for consoles on April 29th, 2008, and PC gamers had to wait until December 2nd to get their hands on the game. Okay, I'd love not to that say bad. that yeah, this delay that allowed Rockstar to optimize the game for the wide variety of PC hardware and ensure a smoother experience for players. But I'd be lying because the PC port of GTA 4 was one yeah. of Rockstar's yeah, biggest yeah. flops and yeah, still yeah. causes various problems. I I personally still I, I didn't had uh, too many problems with the PC port on uh, for the GTA 4, but but I heard a lot of people say they had problems, so yeah, understandable. But for me, like I was fine. Uh, but but yeah, they released it like uh, seven eight months later, right? April came out on console in December. Uh, yeah, on PC, not not bad, not bad because I remember like the GTA 5 first. They released it on next gen. I remember they released it on next gen. Next gen being like the PS4 guys. <laughs> <laughs> back in the days, man, back in the days, I mean, that was uh, next gen, right? Uh, I believe they released it in 2014 and 2015, they released it on the PC. Bruh, bro, like, you, this, like, is crazy, man. They maximize it. So, imagine this time, like, of course, PS5 Pro is coming out, guys, right? So, the game comes out on PS5, and, of course, you can play the PS5 version on PS5 Pro as well. But then, these suckers releases a, a year later a next gen, a true next gen patch for PS5 Pro. <laughs> for which you gotta pay a little bit of money, you know? Money, eh? Money, eh? I don't think this time we would have to like buy a real next gen upgrade for PS5 Pro because PS3 to PS4, you see PS3 and PS4 different consoles, but PS5 and PS5 Pro same console it's just like the pro version which is gonna be slightly better right so i don't think they're gonna do it but what if i'm just saying man i'm, I'm just saying what if they do it though what if they do it where we have to buy the game again though yeah exactly what if right what if and if that's the case bruh this is gonna start ww5 because you know after the fact they drop it on the ps5 pro this like is gonna want to release it on pc as well guys today. However, in the case of GTA 5, things were much better. The game first launched on PS3 and Xbox 360 on September 17, 2013, yeah. and it wasn't until November 18, 2014 that the Yay. game became available on PlayStation Yay. 4 and Xbox One. PC gamers had to wait even longer with the PC version finally releasing on April 14, 2014. Yo, shout out to Jensu for actually making this trailer where he added Michael, Franklin, and Trevor in GTA 6 trailer. Absolute crazy, man. Salute! 15. But this Salute. extended delay allowed Rockstar to include additional features and improvements, such as enhanced graphics. It was good mm. to hear Zelnik confirm that a PC release is almost certainly going to happen, but I yeah. just hope we won't have to wait as long as we did for GTA Trailer 5. Two? It would be great if the PC version of GTA 6 came out within a year of the console versions, by fall 2026 at the latest. But it's not the only good news we've got from Strauss Zelnik, because shortly after Take-Two announced a fall 2025 release window for GTA 6, finally dispelling weeks-long rumors of a potential delay into 2026, yeah. He appeared on CNBC to field questions about Rockstar's creative process and how confident the developer is in hitting the narrowed release window. It's great to have you back, Strauss. Nice to be here. Straight seems to understand the story, at least, at the open. Would you, would you argue that? I think that's right. And, I, and it's a great story, after all. Um, okay. How do you know, creatively, what the timing is going to be? Is it, is, it a, is it a judgment call? I mean, is it an obvious logistics call talk about the timing of the release I mean, yeah. there are elements that you can actually measure for example the number of bugs in, in a title and you know every one of us will make sure that we have as few bugs as possible before we launch uh, however in the case of an, an extraordinary title for which there are extraordinary expectations it's not really about bugs it's about creating an experience that no one's seen before and rockstar games seeks perfection in what they do perfection is is indeed hard to measure. It really is more subjective yeah. than objective. Okay. But like, dog, like, get mama, bro. Like, drop trailer two, man. When do you guys, when do you guys think we're gonna get trailer two? Because some people are saying it's gonna happen summertime. So like, now, now, now. Some are assuming it's gonna be happening by the end of the year. 
<laughs> and if you say by the end of the year, you're likely correct. Because uh, if it happens now, it happens now. But if it doesn't, then it's probably going to happen by the end of the year. And if you have to bet and you pick by the... It's going to drop by the end of the year. So if it does come out now or by the end of the year, you would be correct. So you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but but not realistically, jokes aside though, like it seems like that the trailer is going to be coming out by the end of the year. Because the game... Uh, previously, everybody thought the game was gonna come out early 2025 because that's what these sickers actually alluded to, and they did say fiscal year 2025, which essentially means early 2025, right? But then they re uh, they said calendar 2025. Now they have pinpointed that date to fall. 2025 so yeah uh the trailer coming out by the end of the year and then we're gonna have a year left unless they delay but in this one the ceo is saying likely not gonna get delayed and i want to play you this clip right after this one all right how confident are you in in fall of 2025 in that forecast i mean you just gave um the original which was the full year right. potential release in february so what degree of confidence well there is slippage in the industry mm -hmm. uh and we're not immune from that however we narrowed the, the timing because we are highly confident in that timing. Oh, you better are there be any wrong. Clues you, you can be. give us. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know it's. I got there still can be slippage, guys. Yeah, slippage basically means it, it can still be delayed, man. It'll be what it be, bro. But I, okay, it looks like they're confident. Looks I mean, like very they're confident. careful. Yeah. But there must be some way to characterize what will be different and new for for a consumer. Um. Well, look, the trailer's out there, <laughs> yeah. and the trailer broke the internet. So I recommend, <laughs> if you have a question, go watch the trailer again. It's awesome. It, it, it actually does, it does tell you what's new and different. I think it's pretty clear yeah. from his comments that Rockstar is deeply committed to quality over speed, yeah. but I hope this is... Uh, and I want to play you this one as well, because they, they were talking about GTA 7, guys. <laughs> If you do, if you do have Twitter, I would definitely love to have you. Link should be in the pinned comment below with my Instagram, uh, Twitter, Twitch, all my YouTube channels, even the secret link. Yay! Oh, secret link as well, secret link as well. But I want to play you this video, roll it. Um, if, if you look out, um, if, if you look out, I don't know, we're not even oh, on GTA bad. 6 yet, but thinking about GTA 7. Well, I just wonder I'm, if I'm not going to go there, that. but no, no. Well, I, look, I, feel, I imagine a few things are probably true. One. Rockstar would probably not prefer to have another 12-year gap between major iterations of their franchise. I, I hope so. I hope Two, so. I imagine they have really big ambitions for the live service component, which you guys haven't talked about yet. But I'm sure with everything they learned from GTA Online, they're thinking about how they can make it even bigger and better. They better not have like crazy plans for the live service, right? <laughs> No, live service without it being like microtransactions, W, we want that, okay? Big thumbs up. But if you're talking about live service being Megalodon short cards, then I don't want it, bruh. I don't want it. If you mean, uh, if that's what you mean, that you have to spend money on short cards, if that's your definition of live service content, then get mama, bruh. Get um, mama, bro. And three, I would imagine Rockstar probably has other ideas they'd like to work on beyond GTA for the next 10 years. I so hope so. How, how do you think about how Rockstar needs to evolve over the next 10 years so they can achieve all the things that, that they want to do? Is it is it a resource issue or is it another issue? It's, it's important to bear in mind, it's not like Rockstar put out GTA 5 and then sat on their hands for 12 years, right? We've, we launched GTA Online and that's turned into this massive, you know, living, breathing ecosystem, which continues to perform and grow to this day. Um, so the, the label totally transformed from a label that made big, standalone, monolithic games, um, and not just one, a number of them, to a okay. label that actually is now in the live services business. Oh, and, wow. You know, on an ongoing wow. basis. And, wow. Um, I, I do think given the scale of that label, it's, it's a huge company in and of itself. Crazy. That it's there is much more to be done. It's over. GTA 6 Online is going to be here for 80 plus years. And guys, this is that video where we, we had a lot of gameplay leaks for GTA 6. Check out this video on the screen. On the left, we have another disaster going around, guys. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.